Good everyone. Hi, this is Mother Lilo Carr Rivera from St. Anne's Episcopal Church in Seville, New York. I am the Curate Assistant Rector at St. Anne's, and I'm coming to you tonight live on uh, Tuesday, May 10th at 8 o'clock to do an order for a Compline from the Book of Common Prayer. If you'd like to join me and you have a Book of Common Prayer handy, um, it is starts on page 127. And if not, just, you know, sit back and relax and listen to these beautiful prayers, which are um, written to help us end this day peacefully and ask for protection through the night. So let's begin. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, our heavenly Father, we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. May the Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh Lord, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Continuing with Psalm 4. Answer me when I call, O Lord, defender of my cause. You have set me free when I am hard-pressed. Have mercy on me and hear my prayer. You mortals, how long will you dishonor my glory? How long will you worship dumb idols and run after false gods? Know that the Lord does wonders for the faithful. When I call upon the Lord, he will hear me. Tremble then and do not sin. Speak to your heart in the silence upon your bed. Offer the appointed sacrifices and put your trust in the Lord. Many are saying, oh, that we might see better times. Lift up your the light of your countenance upon us, O oh Lord. You have put gladness in my heart more than when grain and wine and oil increase. I lie down in peace that once I fall asleep. For only in you, Lord, make me dwell in safety. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. May the God of peace, who brought us again from the dead, our Lord Jesus Christ, the great shepherd of the sheep, by the blood of the eternal covenant, equip you with everything good that you may do his will working in you that which is pleasing to his sight. Through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. Thanks be to God. Lord of all gentleness, Lord of all calm, your voice is contentment, your presence above. Be there at our sleeping, and give us, we pray, your peace in our hearts, Lord, at the end of the day. 
Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye, and hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And continuing with the contemporary version of the Our Father. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer and let our cry come, cry come to you. Let us pray. Be present, O merciful God and protect us through the hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this life may rest in your eternal changelessness. Through Christ our Lord, amen. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night, and give your angels charge over those who sleep, Tend the sick, Lord Christ, and give rest to the weary. Bless the dying, soothe the suffering, pity the afflicted, shield the joyous, and all for your love's sake. Amen. At this time, I invite your own prayers and intercessions and thanksgivings, either silently, aloud, or in the comments section. And pray for Uma, for Isabel, for Tina, Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, which you have prepared for all the world to see a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, that asleep we may rest in peace. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. Amen. So that concludes Compline for tonight. I pray for each of you that you have a restful remainder of your day that you sleep well and soundly and you wake tomorrow morning rested and restored and ready to rejoice in a new day. Take care, everyone. Good night.